Island have announced an indictment against 31 accused gang members who they say are responsible for 18 different shootings. And one of them, a school teacher, was killed after his car was allegedly mistaken for a rival gang member's. Jody Goldberg is in Brentwood with details. Kimberly Collins Midget was a beloved mother and school teacher. Police say she was killed after her car was mistaken for a rival gang members last summer in Hempstead. Those responsible are members of the Bloodhound Brims gang, a subset of the Bloods, according to officials who say these surveillance videos helped crack Midget's case and nearly two dozen others since 2021. We have this leader in California working through proxies to tell young men in Nassau and Suffolk County to commit shootings and other acts of violence on behalf of the gang. The leader, Latique Johnson, who went by the pilot, was allegedly calling shots from his jail cell in California. Omar Barry and Josiah Herbert were at the top of the gang's hierarchy on Long Island. Law enforcement seized tens of thousands of dollars from Johnson's commissary account. They say he would collect dues from lower ranking members. He did that from a jail cell in California. He may or may not have thought he was insulated from prosecution on Long Island. He is not. A total of 31 alleged gang members and a associates were arrested. Prosecutors say they played a role of some sort in shootings, robberies, and narcotic sales from Hempstead to the Hamptons. These illegal handguns were passed around and used by the men. The Bloodhound Brims gang is one of the most violent gangs we've ever seen, and that is why we stand here together to say that we are going to prosecute these cases as a team. Officials say gang activity is still active on Long Island, but these latest arrests help hamper operations while sending a clear message to active members. If you fire a gun, if you conspire to fire a gun, you will be held responsible. The ringleader will be brought from California to Long Island to go before a judge. He faces a max of 25 years in prison if convicted. The goal, according to officials, is to hold these defendants on bail to keep them off the street. They're continuing to investigate and expect other arrests will follow. In Brentwood, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.